We're going to do the valence bond theory of ICL3, but first we're going to start with Lewis dot structure. To draw Lewis dot structure, we have to know how many electrons there are in ICL3. ICL3 I has seven valence electrons and Chlorine has also seven valence uh, electrons, because you can see it has three. So that's a total of 28 valence electrons. Previously we said that ICL3 had a total of 28 valence electrons. And now we're going to draw the Lewis dot structure. Okay, so you write I in the middle, and then your bond, then your chlorine, and then you draw the electrons. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and as you can see, we have a total of 24 electrons, but we need 28, so we're going to draw the lone pairs, and now 28. Now that we draw the Lewis dot structure, it can give you an idea of how the Vesper is going to look like. You know that if it has two lone pairs and three bond pairs, it's going to be a T-shaped. So you put your eye in the middle, and then your bonds. So here is CL. Yeah. There's a total of three, and you still have to put your lone pairs. And there you go, that's your showing your lone pair. One pair of lone pairs, and then that's the other one. Like we said, this is T-shaped. Now we're going to draw the energy level diagram for iodine trichloride. And we're going to do the, send the ground state of iodine. And you know that iodine has seven balanced electrons. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's only one pair available for bonding, but we need three. So we're going to add energy. So we need to promote one electron to the orbital. So it will look like this. Now we have three unpaired electrons. Now we're going to draw a box of all the electrons that are going to be hybridized. And this is the excited state for iodine. So you put this like that. Now for hybridize, we got our S. We got our P, which is 3, and 1 in the D orbital. So now we're going to put one pair here, the other one here. And we have three unpaired electrons. So you have three CLs. And that's what's going to be given to this one. So these two are your two lone pair electrons that show in the Vesper diagram. And that's your bond state for iodine. 
Now we're going to draw the contour diagram for iodine trichloride. Iodine is your central atom, so now you just draw the bonds. So now I'm going to draw the lone pair, which so it will be like this. There's your two lone pair electrons. The rest are going to be bonding pairs. So, like this, shown here. And those are for chloride. Orbitals are sp three d, and here is the lone pair. And then the angles of this figure are. For this one is 90 degrees, so it's H axial, and then for the other two are 120. So there you have it, there's the contour diagram for iodine trichloride.